guys have long arms. Look how far I can stretch it out. I might do a built-in selfie stick. Something like that. That's what my arm is, is a built-in selfie stick. Hello! You can't take those on the roller coaster. You can't take selfie sticks on a roller coaster? No! That's horseshit. Hello! Panda here. Mrs. Panda. We're driving. Well, she's driving. It's not quite as picturesque as it usually is. There's a smoke all over the place from wildfires in... Everywhere. Yeah, yeah everywhere's on fire. Fire! I tell people to stay moist, and that's why. Because of the fires. Fire! Any Hooters. We were having a discussion, no and I thought hooters. the... Mm, any Hooters? No Hooters. Okay, so any Hoot. First. We were having a conversation, and I thought my wife had a really good question of the day. Take it away. What was your question what's, that you asked me? What's the grossest thing you've ever put in your mouth? And I think that's a really good question. And I was thinking about it. I don't know if I've ever put anything really gross in my mouth. I told the story once when I was in high school. Um, I had a, I had a waterbed in high school because, you know, who didn't at some point want a waterbed? I thought it'd be cool. Not that I used it for anything. Those are rumble strips because someone's not paying attention. Eyes up there. Anyways, I, had, I kept a glass of water next to my bed in case I was thirsty and I went to take a drink one night. And for some reason, this, this thought in the back of my head said, turn the light on make sure there's nothing in your cup. So as I'm taking a drink with one hand, I reach over and hit the lamp next to my bed. And sure as shit, I just put a, I, as I turn the light on, I see that I'm taking a drink and a giant ass spider goes right into my mouth. I spit it out, like half puke, half spit it out. Yeah, I, I just kind of opened my mouth and expelled everything from my cheeks. All over the side of cement floor, because uh, my room is in a basement, and I just chucked the water and I fell back to sleep hoping the spider didn't come up and take revenge. But that's not really, like, gross, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's more terrifying. Yes. I think the grossest thing I ever put in my mouth is once I drank, I, I, I think I was making a PB&J sandwich, because that's like my, that's my go-to snack. And I poured a glass of milk, because you have to have milk with PB&J. It's a rule. I poured a glass of milk, took a big old bite of my PB&J, took a big old swig of the milk, and it was bad. And I'm not talking like a little bit bad. It was lemon milk. That's an office reference. When was that? We'd only been, we'd been married like a year. Hmm. Yeah, we'd been married a year, and I drank that nasty milk. Is that why you're so terrified of the milk going bad now? Yeah, that probably is why I smell the milk every time I drink it. Because I got a big old mouthful of it. It wasn't chunky milk. It was just like someone had put vinegar in it. What's the grossest thing you've ever put in your mouth? You? Yeah, she did. Once. Not really. No. We don't do that. What's the grossest thing you've ever put in your mouth? bad fruit? A tiramisu in Mexico. A scallop. Oh. And it was fine. Like, I don't think it was skanky because he ate them. She doesn't do seafood. How did you describe the scallop when we ate them? Like eating gristle, also known as fat. Like off of a steak. It was chewy. It was so gross. I love scallops. She does not. So gross. Anyways, we're driving wouldn't do a question of the day because a few people said why didn't you do a question of the day yesterday if you enjoy them share them um not that it takes a lot of effort to make them but it's uh not as fun when you only get like five six people watching them so question of the day what is the grossest thing you've ever had in your mouth comment below thanks for watching and uh Ooh. I got another one. Okay. William threw up in my mouth once. Like when he was a baby. That was gross. Oh, yeah. Baby spit up. Yeah. That's that a good was awful. answer. That's a good answer. 
I've had cow poop in my mouth before. <laughs> cow poop in your mouth. Well, when I was in high school, we were working cattle for a guy, and I was twisting the tail to get him through the, the corral to get him into the chute, and they, it was like the most explosive poop I've ever seen out of a cow. I think it was sick, but like it splashed off of the pa the, the no, panel. It was stress. Could be. You were stressing the cow. Probably, but it splashed off of the bar and into my mouth, just on the corner of my mouth right here. Yeah. Have you ever, you, you never noticed that when you were working cattle, the cattle shit is runny because they're stressed? No. I just assumed it was. I mean, I've seen cows poop all over the place. Huh. So yeah, there you go. Comment below. Grossest thing in your mouth. Thanks for watching. We're gross people.